An ex-Minneapolis police officer could soon be out of jail. Mohammed Noor was convicted of shooting and killing Justine Ruchek Damon in 2017 while responding to a possible sexual assault call. Today, the Minnesota Supreme Court reversed Mohammed Noor's conviction of third-degree depraved mind murder and the death of Damon. He is still convicted of manslaughter in this case. John Lorson has been following the story today and joins us now with the latest. John. Yeah, hi, Amelia. Back in March, Noor's attorney asked the high court to throw out that third-degree murder charge. And today, as you said, the state Supreme Court did exactly that. Now, Noor is only charged with second-degree manslaughter and the death of Justine Ruschek Damon. The case will now go to the trial court for resentencing on the second degree manslaughter charge, and it's possible Noor will be released based on time served. It's not terribly surprising, but it is really significant. Rachel Moran is a law professor with the University of St. Thomas. She believes the third degree murder statute is poorly written, leaving too much room for interpretation. It's not a new charge, but the debate is relatively new about whether it can apply when your conduct is reckless or indifferent toward one person. One person is the key in this ruling. Noor's attorney's argument is that third degree murder or depraved mind requires a disregard for human life. An example would be shooting into a crowd. His legal team said that since he was aiming at Justine Ruschek Damon and only shot her, the murder charge does not apply. The Supreme Court unanimously agreed, ruling that a depraved mind state cannot exist when the defendant's conduct, in this case Noor, is aimed at a particular person. It's a significant decision from the Minnesota Supreme Court to say that charge only applies when you are gener generally indifferent toward the possibility of people losing their life. And the decision by the state Supreme Court essentially takes about eight years off of Noor's sentence. In a statement today, Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman said he's disappointed in the overruling in this case. Now, this actually comes, this decision, just months after the Court of Appeals upheld the murder charge against Noor. Amelia? All right, John, thank you. Don Damon, Justine's fiance, says that the court's ruling to overturn the third degree murder conviction feels like a double blow against justice. He went on to say, I have lived with the tragic loss of Justine, and none of this can hurt my heart more than it has been, but now it truly feels like there has been no justice for Justine.